have I got a garage sale haul for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is a compilation of a few garage sales that I've been to recently. I found a lot of awesome things some to keep and some to sell. So let's hop into it. You know, I love these little mirrors. This is kind of a tiny one, about as big as my hand. And I thought it was super cute. I like to put them on the wall. I like to put them on my dresser to hold things. And I also like to put them in my booth to sell and put things on top of them to stage. This one was $1. You'll have to trust me on that. If I tilt it up, I'm gonna blind you. So that's my first item. I also found this cool old radio. It's a clock radio and it was $1.50. I love the old wooden look on top, probably from the 70s. They did plug it in and showed me that it worked. So I thought that was cool. I think I'm going to sell that. I'll have to do some research on that. And this is something that I used to have and my husband broke it accidentally. So I found this for $1. It's Avon and it's a cutie pie little thermos. This one has Sweet Honesty in, Sweet Honesty Body Splash. Still has some in. And I also found another Avon item at the same sale. This one I had never seen before. Look at the box, how cute. It was also $1. And it's a little skunk. Look how cute it is. A white stripe down the back. And this one, let's see what it has in it. Topaz, wasn't a fan of that. But $1 for that. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen either one of these items before, the Avon items. Next, I got a whole bag full of little plastic animals for 50 cents, and I think these will sell good in my booth. I'm not sure how I'm going to package them up or if I'm going to put them in a little jar or what, but I think they will sell. This item, I think I got for free. She threw it in. It's a little... Oh, what do you call it? It's a rolling pin, but it has a little slot in the top. And I thought it would be really cute to put like a postcard in it and display it on a tiered tray, or I might sell it, but I think I'm going to have a hard time giving that up. I'll probably keep it for decor. Alrighty, these two items came together as a pair and they were $1. I think these will sell in my booth. Somebody came into the shop one time and was buying them up for their wedding and they wanted all different kinds, so I sold all of mine. This next item I was really tickled with, it's chalkware. Two little bears in a set. They were 50 cents for the pair. On the back it says 29 cents a pair. So apparently that's what they sold for back in the day. So I haven't found those. I looked them up, but I think anything chalkware should sell. And I was at a garage sale and found this. My friend John collects Snoopy items, so I texted him right away to see if he was interested. Two plates, a bowl, and then this three-sectioned bowl. And it was all for $1.50. He said he was not interested, but that it would probably sell good at the booth. So I'm gonna put that out closer to Christmas. This, you might as well say it was free, 25 cents. And these are great for diabetics when you need to wipe your skin before you give insulin or before you test your sugar. So I got those. I would say these probably run around $3 a box or maybe six, I can't remember from Sam's, but it's almost full. So I gave you a tip in another video recently to look for things that you normally use but cheaper. So there's really nothing wrong with buying these. They're all packaged up and what a great deal. All right, next I found three items at the same garage sale. Was thrilled with all three. Look at this adorable apron. It was $2. 
there was a bunch of aprons at that particular garage sale and I found another one as well. This one's my favorite. Look how darling. Also $2. And I asked if there was a story behind the aprons because they had a ton of them and it was two ladies that were related somehow, probably sisters. And they said that they had a family reunion and all of the younger generation donned aprons that they had all found themselves. And they did some old fashioned baking and cooking and so forth and acted like their older generation. And it was a big hit, she said. So I thought that was a fun story. Both of those will be going in my booth. At that same garage sale, I found something to wear. Let me see if I can hold it up. This is from Coldwater Creek, and it's a very beautiful jacket. Has some nice detailing on it. Let me hold it up. See here. Okay, it was $3. Here's the detailing. I thought I was losing my mind. I couldn't find the detailing. <laughs> So $3 for that, and it's kind of heavy, so that'll be good for fall or winter. These next three items I found all together at one garage sale, and I think they were each marked maybe 4 or $5, and I said I was interested in the three of them, and she said, how about three for seven? So I found this. Isn't this cool? That's going to go in my booth. And then I also found this to go in my booth, a little picture. It says on the bottom, La Dolce Vita by Home Essentials and Beyond, Torino Collection. Microwave and dishwasher safe, which was a surprise because I thought this would just be decorative. But it was three for seven, like I said. And here's the last item. I got this. It says on the bottom, Primitives by Kathy. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It says, treats, good dog, who's a good dog? And it has a little wooden lid that opens up. Isn't that darling? So I thought for sure that somebody would like that for their dog treats. So that was those. And now I have a couple free items. I know I encouraged you in my tips video to look in the free box. You never know what you're going to find. I found this and I thought it was kind of cool. I'm pretty sure it was a Tootsie Roll bank that somebody put this, what do you call that? Oh, you can use it to put on your cupboards. <laughs> it's like playing charades. It's some kind of paper, contact paper. So let me see if that opens. Yes, it still opens. There's nothing inside. And I just thought that was kind of quirky. So I'll put that in my booth and see if that sells. And then the same garage sale, I got the Snoopy dishes. They had a whole bunch of free things and it said one per person. So I got this brand new love cooking little hand towel or dish towel. It's more decorative than anything, but I thought I would put that in my booth. And then the last free item I got was these wooden craft parts. These are great for making a little pegboard that you can hang things on. So I know my husband will use those. And they're brand new. So it says 20 pieces. There's two of the pegs and then the rest of the pieces must be the plugs. So I thought that was a neat find. Here's where I put the little rolling pin decor piece that I got. I think it'll be perfect for holding up cards in the little slot there. Isn't it adorable? Now let's take a quick look at my booth to see where I put some of my new finds. See if you can spot them. <laughs>
that's everything I have in my haul for you today. I would love to know what your favorite item or items are. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.